Hello aspirants of Achievers Academy. So today is a significant day in the history of India. Okay. And today it marks the 101st anniversary of Jallianwala Bagh massacre. Okay. Today marks the 101st anniversary of Jallianwala Bagh massacre. And this Jallianwala Bagh massacre is considered a black mark on the British Indian administration. Okay. So first we shall know what is Jallianwala Bagh massacre and what are the reasons which led to this incident of Jallianwala Bagh. Clear? So first we shall know about the background of this incident. Background. And one more important thing we must remember is that last year marked the 100 years of Jallianwala Bagh incident. Clear? So first we shall know about the background of this incident. Clear? So background was Rowlatt Act. There was an inhuman act of British government which was called Rowlatt Act. Okay. So this Rowlatt Act empowered the British government to imprison any Indian, any Indian nationalist who is protesting against the British government without any warrant and when that person is arrested he shall not be presented in the court okay that was the summary of Rowlatt Act clear so Rowlatt Act came up to me it is just saying that any person can be arrested without any previous warrant and also he shall not be presented in the court any job to Nanamata Edi Rowlatt Act. So, due to this inhuman Rowlatt Act, Mahatma Gandhi called out for a nationwide protest. Okay. So, for the passage of Rowlatt Act, Mahatma Gandhi ordered all the nationalists in India to take out a nationwide protest against this act and he also termed this act as Black Act. Okay. Black Act. And on basis, on, based on the call of Mahatma Gandhi, there were two leaders in Punjab who were carrying out protests against this Rahul attack. And, there's, and those two leaders were Dr. Satyapal, Dr. Satyapal and the another person was Saifuddin Kichlu. Okay, Saifuddin Kichlu. These two persons were carrying down, were carrying down the protests against Rahul attack in Punjab and especially Amritsar. Okay, so these two people were arrested by the British government under Rahul attack and the people in Amritsar in support of these two people, in support of these two people gathered in a place called Jallianwala Bhag. Okay, it was on 13th April 1919 and this was the day of Baisakhi. Okay, this was the day of Baisakhi which is the harvest festival of six. Okay, so Baisakhi is nothing but the same we celebrate it as Sankranti in the south. Clear? So, Aroje Rojanta Ante that is Baisakhi which was celebrated on 13th April 1919 and it was on this day. The people in support of these two leaders gathered in a garden that is Jallianwala Bhag. Okay, so here the term Bhag means garden. So the British government, British government got to know that there a group of people gathered in the garden that is Jallianwala Bhag in the support of these two leaders okay when the british government knew that people gathered in this garden they came with their police force to that garden clear and blocked the only entry and exit point of that garden so when we consider this as Jallianwala bhag okay there was only one entry and exit point so this one entry and exit point was totally marked by was totally blocked by the British police okay and this British police were under the command of General Dyer General Dyer this General Dyer along with the British forces blocked the only entry and exit point of this Jallianwala Bagh and ordered the firing okay so we landar me the ikkada prajal the people in this Jallianwala Bagh were 
fired with the orders of this General Dyer. And approximately due to this firings in Jallianwala Bagh, about 1526 people died. Okay. Due to this firing in Jallianwala Bagh, approximately 1526 people died. And later after this incident, the famous Indian poet that is Rabindranath Tagore. Rabindranath Tagore. Rabindranath Tagore renounced his knighthood. Okay, renounced his knighthood. So what is meant by knighthood? British government announces knighthood on famous personalities so when a knighthood is announced to anyone his name would be called as sir okay so atani peru mundu em untundi sir ane padam untund anamata so in the same way rabindranath tagore was also awarded knighthood by the british government but due to this jallianwala bag massacre rabindranath tagore renounced his knighthood he gave it back to the british government as a protest to this jallianwala bag massacre and after 40 after 21 years okay that is in the year 1940 1940 we come across a important leader that is uddham singh okay uddham singh so this uddham singh in the year 1940 traveled to london traveled to london and assassinated the british lieutenant governor of punjab during jallianwala bagh massacre that is michael dyer Okay, so Michael Dyer was the Lieutenant Governor of uh, Punjab who gave orders to General Dyer. Okay, so General Dyer firing Jesna Wadu, Michael Dyer was the Lieutenant Governor of Punjab. Okay, and this Shaheed Uddham Singh travelled to London in the year 1940 and assassinated the person who was responsible for this inhuman Jallianwala Bagh massacre that is Michael O. Dyer. Okay, so recently there is a film being made on Udham Singh with Vicky Kaushal as the lead actor. Clear? So next, Inka Manamu, this incident Gurinchi Gurthubet calls in the year 2019. So 2019 marked the 100th anniversary of Jallianwala Bagh massacre. Right. So, in the year 2019, British Prime Minister, that is David Cameron, David Cameron visited India, visited Amritsar, and also he visited the Jallianwala Bagh massacre. Okay, Jallianwala Bagh, and offered condolences to all the to all the leaders who lost their life in Jallianwala Bagh. Okay, and the British government. The British government also appointed Hunter Commission, Hunter Commission in order to enquire into the killings of Jallianwala Bagh. Clear? Hunter Commission was appointed in order to enquire into the into the killings of Jallianwala Bagh. So these are the important points regarding. Jallianwala Bhag incident which happened one out one years ago exactly on the same day that is on 13th April. Thank you.